Have you realized you have no answer to Jesus being disqualified as God because he died? Yeah, Jesus has You have no Jesus answer for that. Died. You said death is something Jesus experienced. Yeah, he That means he is not God. Because God doesn't die. He came for that purpose. I didn't ask you why he came. He I asked God you, died. God doesn't die. You must know why God he never came. Died. That's the human nature. Of okay, That's so, so let me, let me ask this. From, from the Father, the Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit, yeah. who died on the cross? The flesh of Christ, the image of God, the revelation. The image of, of God. Christ. I asked Christ. you from the three. Christ. No, no, no. From the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, who died? I didn't ask you what died. Listen, listen carefully. Yeah. It's simple English, my friends. Yeah. I didn't ask you what died. Every time you say flesh died, that is the what. That's what it is. Dude. No, no, no. You need to listen. You need to no. You need to listen to the question. You need to listen to the question. I'm asking you. No, no. I'm asking you. Who died, not what died. Every time ask, they say the flesh died, that is answering the question, yeah. what died. The question is, who died on the cross? Father, Son, or the Holy Spirit? Okay, simple question. The Son, God, the one who is incarnated with the flesh, wow. he died in a cross. The Son died, yes? Yes. The second person of the Trinity. Wonderful. Do you, do you agree with that? Yes. The okay, the fresh. good. So now from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is immortal? God is immortal. We know separate. Which one? We know separate they in account all, of this one. One in three. The spirit is united in one. So you, I didn't ask you about the spirit. I asked, you, no, no, no. I asked you from the three who died. You said the second person of the Trinity. Yeah. You said his spirit. Wait, wait. Died. As soon as you say the second person yeah. of the Trinity died, that means the second person of Trinity is not immortal. So did you did you understand the question I asked you? Because like he didn't he didn't understand. That's why I'm asking you. Because I'm asking you. You ask me is very tricky. It's you very, have to ask me that. No, no. It's very simple. I'll ask him the same question. Does an immortal being experience death or resurrection? He'll, he'll experience you need to you need to have respect for your brother. Friend, okay. immortal, immortal being is those who are forever and ever no, that's eternal. eternal. Eternal, yes, God is eternal. No, I asked you about immortal, not about eternal. Simple English, my friend. Okay. okay. Simple English. Okay. Does an immortal being experience either death or resurrection? They res resurrection. resurrection. Immortal being needs to resurrect. I mean, after resurrection, that's when we become immortal. I'm asking you a question, simple it's question. Time, listen, listen. Okay. Does an immortal being need to either die or resurrect at all? Does he experience death or resurrection? That does not make any sense. Exactly, doesn't make sense. My friend, you need to understand, Jesus has his, he had a divine nature. He had an immortal side and his mortal side. He can't be mortal if he died. But he had his suicide, immortal. I know, but if he... The mortal side, that died. The immortal If he, just like you, just like you, your flesh dies, but your soul doesn't... My spirit is always living, it's always dead. I know, so it doesn't make you immortal, does it? It makes you immortal in a way. No, it doesn't, because the Bible Bible says only God is immortal unless you want to go against the Bible. First Timothy 6.16, I'll remind you. Let's define what is death according to you. How do you define death? Death. Death is separate. Death is separate from death is separate. Uh, death is separating the soul from the flesh. Did Jesus experience that? Yes. Good. Yeah. That makes him when mortal. He, when he was in the, when he was crucified, he prayed. Do you, the do you know as, every time you say the flesh died, you're just confirming Jesus experienced that. Receive my spirit no, no, in your hand. It is. The Jesus, the, the human nature that yeah. died. That died. What do you mean human nature died? The spirit Jesus, in him was always yeah. forever and in ever. Cross, no oh my your God. spirit lives as well. Doesn't make you mortal. How many times do you repeat the same thing? No, it, I ask you about immortal. Why are you going to go to eternal now? Because if he was immortal, then he would have never ever experienced death. The fact that he experienced both death and resurrection disqualifies him as God because to God neither death nor resurrection applies because he never dies in the first place.